Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. You are my Father, my provider, my deliverer. Lord, you reign in victory, wonderful counselor, my Prince of Peace. And I worship you because of who you are. Because of who you are, I give you glory. You are worthy. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and sing. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Lord, I worship you because of who you are. You are my Father, my provider, my deliverer. Lord, you reign in victory. Wonderful Counselor, by my Prince of Peace, and I worship you because of who you are, and I worship you because of who you are, and I worship you because of who you are. King who r e 
spirit of prayer and adoration and praise and thanksgiving. Pray to him, dear brother, dear sister, dear friend, pray to him. It's good to pray when somebody else is praying. Pray in your spirit. Don't just listen. Pray to your father. He longs to hear your voice, not the voice of somebody else praying for you. Pray to your father. Talk to him. Develop that habit throughout the day of speaking to him like you would to a friend, to your father. He is your friend, a companion closer than any other, and he is exalted. Give him praise. Give him thanksgiving. Give him your heart. Give him your life. Father, we exalt you and praise you. Give you honor and glory, Lord. You're worthy to be praised. We don't even have the first clue what heaven is really like, what it must be like to be in your presence, how great you are. We've tasted, and all we've tasted is like a little cup of the ocean of your greatness, your majesty, your love, your holiness, your purity. Thank you, Father, for revealing yourself to us through Jesus Christ. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of man what you have prepared for us, for those that love you, and yet you have revealed it to us through the Holy Spirit, and you will reveal it to us. That's why we're here, Lord. We're gathered that we can see those things that nobody else gets to see. Not because we deserved it, Lord. You know how... How little we deserve it. How undeserving of your love we are. How while we were your enemies, you loved us. While we were running away from you, you chased after us and sought us and brought us into your fold. Oh, the love that sought me. Oh, the love that brought me into the fold. Thank you, Lord, for your tenderness with me. Thank you. You were tender, Lord. You weren't harsh. You weren't strict and mean to me. You were tender. You were compassionate. Lord, help me to be the same to others. Thank you, Father, for who, who you are. That's why we're here, because of who you are, Lord. Not because we want anything from you, not because of any earthly ambition, Lord, except that you are the great almighty God. And you called us. You've made us your own. We're a prized possession to you. Today, Lord, I pray you'll open our eyes to see you in heaven, shouting over us, rejoicing over us, exulting over us with shouts of joy, and planning for us in love, Lord. Remind us of that this morning. For what we're about to face this week. What we're about to face this month. We don't see it Lord. We don't see what's coming but you do. And we can find safety and rest. In your presence Lord. In, your, in you. We have set you before us Lord. Therefore we shall not be shaken. And we can experience joy in your presence. We can experience pleasures. Which are eternal. That far, uh, far beyond the pleasures of this earth. So be exalted Lord. Reveal Jesus to us Lord. Amen. That's why you sent him to this earth. That's why you've sent the Holy Spirit now to dwell within us, Lord. To dwell in our homes, dwell in our marriages, dwell in the churches, Lord. That Jesus might be revealed. The things of Jesus might be disclosed to us. That's what we want to see, Lord, this morning. Thank you. You will do it. Amen. I pray, Lord, now for any who are defeated in sin or in a spiritual battle of some sort. Bound by Satan in any way, Lord. Oppressed by him. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will come and break those bonds completely. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that there's power in your name. There's power through grace. Your blood can cleanse all sin, Lord. And your grace can turn us completely and set us free. Thank you, Lord, that sin shall not be master over us because we're not under the law anymore. We're under your grace. Send your grace upon us. Help us to be humble, Lord, that we can receive your grace. and Break the bonds that are binding anybody right now. Anybody listening to this, I pray in Jesus' name, you'll set them free from sin, Lord, from addictions that have held them bondage, perhaps, for years. You proved through the miracles that you did on this earth that there was nothing too great for you. Nothing impossible for you, Lord. And thank you, Father, when you raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you proved to us that you too would give life to these mortal bodies, Lord. You too would give us the life that we need to overcome sin, to live in victory, to live pleasing to you. Help us, Lord. Pray also for our physical needs, Lord. Pray for any who are sick, especially this time of sickness around the world. I pray if it is your will, you will end it, Lord. End this sickness 
that we might move around freely, not for ourselves, not for our, because it's no longer us who live, but you live in us. And so, Lord, I pray that you'll give us freedom to move and further your kingdom with the time that's remaining. Pray for any who are sick, even suffering in any way. Touch their bodies in the name of Jesus. Amen. You lay your hands on them, Lord. You have the power to heal. We know that. We trust you completely. You alone can do it. So lay your hands on them and Amen. touch them and heal them Amen. completely in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank, you. Thank you. Let them feel your healing power flow through their body even right now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Pray for our financial needs, our material needs. Thank you that we don't have to seek after these things. We seek your kingdom first and your righteousness and you will add all these things that the rest of the world seeks, Lord. Food, clothing, shelter, education, taking care of us, of our earthly needs. Thank you that we have a God in whom we can trust. No matter what's coming up this week, Lord Jesus, you've written every day of our lives in your book before we were even born. You know what today is going to look like. You know what tomorrow is going to look like. We trust you completely. We entrust ourselves to you. You will be glorified. Thank you. For any other prayers, Lord, that aren't expressed, the cry of every humble heart, Every poor man or woman that's crying out to you, thank you. You have heard their prayer. You will answer. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is an old hymn, Jesus, the only one. Jesus, the only one. Holy as purest one, name above all names, exalted thou art. Fullness of glory and fullness of majesty, fullness of love and of truth and of Sufferings and deep distress, none separates me from thy mighty arm. When ill besieges me, thou dost and thank you, Lord, bless me. Call me by name and deliver from harm. Do you know him this way? His name is Jesus. Lord, hear my earnest plea. Lord, lead me on with Thee. Howe'er and where'er it pleases Thee best. Mold me and make me, Lord. Teach me Thy will, O Lord. While I a pilgrim on earth, I know. One, give me thy nature, the pure holy heart. Save from the tempter's snare, free from all earthly care, till to thy glory from earth I depart. Save from the tempter's snare, free from all earth. Till to thy glory from earth I You know, there's another hymn that says, There is a place of quiet rest near to the heart of God. This must be the testimony of our lives. Nearer, still nearer, close to thy heart. Draw me, Savior. It's an old hymn. I think it should be familiar to us. If not, you can follow along and meditate on the words. Nearer, still nearer, close to thy heart. Savior, 
so precious thou art fold me oh fold me close to thy breast shelter me safe in that heaven of prayer shelter me safe still Oh, 
gate I found it lost And with His suffering I identify By His resurrection power I'm alive For I am crucified with Christ And yet I live Not I but Christ who lives within me not by strength but his there's no greater sacrifice for I am crucified with Christ and yet I live that will offer all I have so that his cross is not in to live is Christ and to die is truly gain for I am crucified with Christ and yet I live not I but Christ who lives within me this cross will never ask for more than I can give for it's not my strength is. There's no greater sacrifice For I am crucified with Christ And yet I live For I am crucified with Christ setting us free. Show us, Lord, what this means, not just in a song we sing. Show us the way of death to self in that moment when it hurts most, when it'll cost us our pride or our reputation, fall into the ground and die like a grain of wheat, and we shall live, we shall bear fruit. And we'll sing one more song, a day of rejoicing that's coming soon, what a day it'll be. When I see Jesus, He, the one that I live for, I tell you, for everyone who has looked forward to that day because of who they will see, not even that they will be done with the life of this earth, but they will see Jesus face to see, face. To face. Maybe we can stand and sing this one. There is coming a day that no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears to dim the eye, all is peace forevermore. On that happy golden shore What a day, what a day that will be What a day that will be When my Jesus I shall see When he has looked upon his face The one who saved me by his grace When he takes me by my hand And leads me through the promised land What a day, glorious day sorrow there, no more burdens to bear, no more sickness or pain, no more parting over there, and forever I will be with the one who died for me, what a day, glorious day that will be, what a day that will be, when my Jesus I shall see, upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, when he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day, that will be, what a day that will be, when my Jesus I shall see, when I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, when he takes me by the hand.